Hello and welcome to Flames TV. I'm your host, Steve Allred. Let's continue our interview now with NHRA Pro Stock Motorcycle star, Hector Abrana. Between runs, what do you do to, to maintenance the bike and, and what can you adjust on it between runs to tailor it to the racetrack conditions better? Uh, well, we, uh, we monitored the weather. We monitored the track temperature. And then uh, we also know how many runs we got on those. Like, uh, one thing freq frequently that we have to change is valve springs. So uh, we start with a fresh spring, and every two runs, we take the valve covers off quickly and, and try to check the spring pressure. And if they need to be replaced, we have to replace it within 45 minutes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um. You have had a, a long relationship with Lucas Oil. Can you, uh, can you tell us how that developed and, uh, and, and just talk to us a little bit about that long relationship? Well, I, I met Boris and Charlotte in California. They, they were already sponsoring me, but I've never met them until I went to California when Morgan was just nine years old. And uh, awesome people down to earth they they treated me like family right from the beginning and he told me stick with me and you will grow as we grow and sure enough uh i'm i'm, I'm sitting on top of the world right now that's how i feel uh they get they have given me the opportunity to do this full time and dedicate all the time that it needs to race professionally they gave me a job at the uh, uh, court in Indiana. So I moved my family from Miami, Florida, and we live now in court in Indiana, which, Steve, I'll tell you, never in my wildest dream I thought I'd be living in Indiana. <laughs> if, I, uh, if I figured I was going to move, I was going to go even further south where it's going to be warmer. So you traded palm trees for uh, for new mown hay in, in Indiana and snow in the winter. Yes. I, I, now I see all four seasons. <laughs> it's beautiful. I love it. And, and, you know, another thing why, over here is hilly where I'm at, according in Indiana. And in the road, sometimes you go over a cliff. And it winds and it goes up and down. It, it reminds me when I was a child, lived in Puerto Rico. It was the same way. And uh, it's all green, uh, like in the summer. Of course, not in the winter. But uh, it also now I've gone hunting, too, for the first time. Oh, my. So I'm, I'm doing a lot of things now. You're becoming a regular Hoosier, huh? <laughs> yes, yes. I, I got me a buck and... Uh, <laughs> I, I took it into town to get it done, and uh, Forrest happened to be in town. Uh huh. He goes, "Now nah, you're fitting in." <laughs> <laughs> you and I'll tell you, they they're doing great. They're all awesome people, and and they help a lot, and that's why uh, their business has taken uh, or uh, is growing a lot. It's, uh, he cares about the consumer. He cares that make sure that the product it has to be right and it does what it want, he wants is to protect the vehicle which is your investment you you won it at norwalk earlier this year that had to be a just a fantastic thrill oh man uh, steve uh, i'll tell you what i, I had a, a long time friend of mine uh louis was with me He's, he's my crew guy, and my two boys w was with me, Hector and Adam. And all these years, I've been going to the races, and they always ask me, Dad, did you win when I got home? No, I didn't. They stopped asking me. But having them at the races in Norwalk with me and seeing that I won, they were so happy. I mean, you can you can go and, and see them on the magazine, whatever, the photos, how high they were jumping up and down. <laughs> and and, and what, I, what I'm trying to say is, is I was I'm glad that they saw it and it happened because now they know 
that even if it takes a long time, if you believe in it, you you really want it, it can happen. So don't give up your dreams. Just because you fail a couple times, it doesn't mean it's not for you. Stop. Mm-hmm. You have, if you really believe it is truly what you want to do, you can do it. Well, I've I've really appreciated having you on the program today. Um, is there anything else that you'd like to say before we go? Well, you know, uh, I do want to thank uh, my family. and I always keep forgetting my daughters, uh, Abigail and Amy. And But I want to thank uh, a lot of the people that also have helped me and uh, to learn more things. Uh, learn the fuel injection like Jeff Proc and Dita. As you see, that's, I forget a lot of names, and but I, I know I know that they know who they are, and I want to thank them. Well, okay. I'll, I'll tell you what we. Uh... Well, hang, Steve, I want to thank someone else. Okay. There's someone in, in Corden, Indiana. His name is J, uh, James Scott. Okay, I want to thank him a lot because he he's always been uh, he raced when he was young. He's older now. He can't make it to the races, and but we always get together and we talk about it. And he wanted to hear his name. <laughs> so James, thank you. He's a great person, and we I love talking to him. The strategy of racing. Well, I don't want you to give away any secrets, but uh, uh, you're welcome to come on again because there are a lot of things that we'd like to learn and know about these pro stock motorcycles and. Uh, in a short interview, we can just barely uh, touch the tops, but maybe we can talk about uh, uh, specific systems or specific topics uh, one program at a time later, and uh, and you can you can give us an education on these things. Uh, we can we can do something. Very good, very good. Thanks again. Well, thank, you. thank you, Hector. Uh, Hector uh, Arana, ladies and gentlemen, and Hector, get in that countdown, and great luck to you this weekend.